You're not allowed to have any cameras in here. Why would that be, Linda? Either way, the signs would be unconstitutional, as you know. Exercise my freedom of press right, just trying to de-escalate the situation here, and you know, exercise my rights peacefully. That's all. Okay. It doesn't sound like it's working. All right, Sean. Well, here's the deal. Okay. Do you understand? All right. I'm done with this conversation now. <laughs>Hey, what's up guys? Long Island Audit here, back again with another video. Today we're at the Sudley North Government Center here in Prince William County, Virginia. We're here today as always to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas to promote transparency and accountability within our government and to ensure that our public servants respect our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. All right guys, so we're just walking in to the government center here. Let's take a look around. Here is the, so we do have um, security here. First floor, community services. Taxpayer services. And what do you know are friendly reminders that they're always recording us even though it always seems to be an issue when we record them. Hi, are you with the county? I'm sorry? Are you with the county? With Prince William County? Yes. No, I'm not with the county. No. Okay. Are you filming? Yeah, I'm taking some pictures and video. Who are you? I'm Linda Nielsen. Linda. Nice to meet you, Linda. My name's Sean. Okay. And why are you taking pictures? Oh, I'm just taking some pictures and video of the facility here. For what? Oh, for, um... I'm an independent journalist. Okay. You're not allowed to have any cameras in here. Why would that be, Linda? Because we're taking personal information while you're standing up there filming us. Personal information? For personal property. I, I don't understand. People are talking about their personal information. Oh, yeah. That's fine. No, it's not fine. You're not. It says no cameras. Oh, yeah. The sign there? Yeah, I saw the sign. Okay. It's an unconstitutional sign. Eddie? Linda is not happy. I'm sorry? No, I see the signs. Okay, so can you stop filming? No, I'm not going to. Okay. Um, we're going to Who are you? Oh, who are you, sir? I'm not deleting anything. That's not going to happen. My name's Eddie Olson. Eddie I'm Olson? Corps, I'm security for the county lease building. I'm Your private security, security, correct? Private security for the county. That's for the county, me. correct. So I'm asking you to leave the building or stop filming. Why, why would, is this a public building? It's a county building, correct? It's a county lease building, yes, sir. But you're not allowed to do any videotape in here without express permission of the county to, to the county board. Is that a law? That's county policy. Like oh, yeah, it's, it's, but it's, it's not a law, right? I didn't say it was a law. It's oh, okay. You're in county policy and you're in county lease building. Yeah, right. I'm in a public building. I understand no, that. You're in a building that's leased by the county, accessible to the public. Exactly. And you're not allowed to videotape it. Publicly accessible news building. News crews can't come over without getting permission. News crews? What would be the difference between myself and a news crew? It doesn't matter. No, I'm just complaining to you. They can't oh. come over without permission to film. Oh, well, they sure can. We have freedom of press in this country. All right. Well, I'm just telling you the county's policy. It says if you want to leave, you want me to call the county police, have the escort. I don't want you to call the police, no, but we have, freedom, we have freedom of you press. Me, you can stay. Yeah, we have freedom of press. So anywhere I'm allowed to be, is the general public allowed in this building? The public that has to come in for a purpose of business. Yeah, the general public. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. General, pu general public's allowed in this building. To come in and carry on business for county. Uh, Correct. Services, Counter, yes, sir. And, okay. Are you seeking any county services? Oh yeah, for sure. I'm okay. just taking some pictures and video first. Okay. Well, you're going to stop video, and I'll call the police. Have the escort out. What do you no, want? I'm not going to. I'm not going to stop okay. recording. Okay. I'm not going to stop I'll, recording. I'll call the county, please have the escort out. No problem. Hopefully the county law enforcement, there's no personal information in public. Yeah, well, you came, you talked to me first, ma'am, so I just want to know who you are. Did you not speak to me first? I didn't come up to you to speak to you, ma'am. 
everybody wants to speak. <laughs> everybody wants to sp talk to me, but then oh. when I want to talk back to them, it becomes a problem. Apparently. Just want names so I can hold people accountable. And as you guys could see, the signs here, no cameras or recording devices allowed beyond this point, meaning that they're not allowed inside that office. So we have Linda. Linda properly identified herself, but this woman here, she did not. So again, beyond this point. So we're not even in violation of any policy, but as we all know, policy does not trump law or the United States Constitution. As you guys can see over here, law enforcement has arrived. Hopefully they are, he is educated on our First Amendment right. That policy is not law. How are you, sir? How you doing? I'm doing well. Okay I believe they called uh, regarding regarding me. Do you mind if I to get your name? Well, let me talk to them and find out what's going on first. Oh yeah, sure. I'm I just, Hunsberger. Hunsberger and yeah. your badge number, Hunsberger. Two, just, three. just so I know I'm talking to. That's all. Two three three eight. Two three three eight. Yep. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. Who do you speak to in here? Do you know? Oh, the security guard and some of the uh, the woman at the tax office. Okay. They they seem to think that it's um, illegal or to record and right, take some pictures. Them? Yeah, sure, no problem, officer. Oh, and this woman over here. Law enforcement arrived, sir. It's kind of obvious, sir. Some no. things are obvious in life. <laughs> I, thought, I thought taking pictures in public would be obvious, but I don't think it's obvious to you. Hi, ma'am. How are you? Ma'am, would you mind if I got your name and badge number? Just so I know who's here? Yeah, give me just one second. Oh, sure, no problem. No problem. Okay. Let's see if they enforce your feelings or law. They're not policy enforcement. Hi, sir, how are you? Hey, good, how are you? Hi, can you mind if I get your name and badge number, please? Yeah, Officer Ponorowskis, 3087. Thank you, sir, I appreciate you. I'm sure they have better things to do. There's no need for any of this. There was no need for any of this, sir. Hey, sir. Hey, you mind talking me out here? Yeah, sure, we can talk out there. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, no problem. So I really don't know what the issue is. I didn't. I didn't need to speak with anybody here. I was just, and I wasn't like getting in front of um, like anybody or disrupting business. I was just walking around the halls here, the publicly accessible areas, just taking some pictures and videos of the signs and everything. I'm an independent journalist. My name is Sean. Um, you know, and then they started yelling at me and you know, kind of escalating the situation, trying to say that their policy is that I can't record in this building. But even their own signs don't say that. They say you can't record beyond this point and either way the signs would be unconstitutional as you know i'm just you know exercising my freedom of press right just trying to de-escalate situation here and you know exercise my rights peacefully that's all okay it doesn't sound like it's working i mean i can't i can't control i can't control other what other people do i didn't i didn't force the security guard to call the police i i talked to him the same way i'm talking to you guys you know i tried to explain to him what i'm, what I'm doing here and you know i told him I'm not breaking any laws that there was no need to call law enforcement um, but I can't control what people do, so they decided to call you. I guess you. the concern was that you were up there recording inside through the windows, I guess they were saying? Well, the, no, oh, just oh, passing. No. Yeah, okay, I was going to tell you what happened. The reason being is there's a lot of people passing their personal information to them, paying taxes and whatnot, yeah. and that's kind of their policies. They don't want people up there recording, kind of like at the DMV where you don't go with your phone recording because it's people's personal information. Oh, I do stories at the DMV all the time, and... and 
it's never. I just came from a DMV. I do stories on all government buildings. That's fantastic. I'm just letting you know. Oh, no, that's yeah. That's I'm just concerned. Okay, yeah, but the, their concern is unwarranted, in my opinion, sir. Okay. So I'm not getting anybody's what's, private information. What's your further plan for today? Are you just to, continue to, to continue to get content for my story, sir. Okay, and which is what? To, to stay here and continue to get content in my story. Excuse me, officer. He's videotaping clients coming into for services, DSS. They have a right to privacy. I explained that to him. The video. They don't. They don't have a right to privacy, sir. And I'm not recording anybody in particular, sir. They don't. They don't appreciate being videotaped. No one even told you that. You're just saying that. I, no, I told you that to your face. No, no one we're told not, you that, sir. We're not doing this. I mean, he did it, not me. It, Ma'am, I'm sorry. Just in case, I, I never got your bat name and badge number. Officer Russell, 2557. What? So, Officer Russell. Russell. 2557. Thank you, Russell. Which means the county building. No, never happened. Never happened. I was never next to the glass. I can understand you that were concern. Close enough, I guess, to concern them. That's what I'm. That's what I'm being told. That's what I'm relaying to you. Yeah. Yeah, because because the the woman was talking to me. I was talking to her, sir. Yeah, I never. I'm not going to stop videotaping. Yeah, somebody's talking to me. I I don't know if I've even gotten one person, but it doesn't matter. That's not my intent, sir. I'm not trying to start anything. I'm just trying to exercise my rights peacefully, like I told the officers. And there's no law being broken. There's no reason for any of this. The officer here said that uh, it's a public building. We can't remove them from the public building. So they're probably very triggered over that. As you can see, the security guard is calling somebody to try and enforce his feelings when law enforcement won't. Very sad. Very, very sad. There's no need for any of this. No one's going directly up to the counter. Even though I could, I choose not to. I can go right up to the counter and film anything I want. But I'm choosing not to. Because I don't, there's no need for that. Thank you so much, officer. Sorry, I put my name on the wrong line. But okay, it's okay. Thank you. So we have the case number here written down for us. The security guard is so upset for no reason. He is so triggered. Hey, you said there were some signs. Oh yeah, like, there's signs probably all over the place, but it's it's it says past this point. You know what I mean? Maybe they bought the wrong one. But either way, I mean, there's nothing illegal about recording. You know what I mean? I'm not bothering anybody. Yeah, I mean, it's a public space. Yep, public space exactly. So the officer right now is explaining to a supervisor on the phone that you guys can hear. I understand that you're, he's saying to the person on the phone, I understand that your employees don't feel comfortable with him being here and that I couldn't hear the rest, but it's probably him explaining to them the law and my rights 
their feelings don't come before my rights. They definitely don't trump my rights or any of our rights. Am I your information? I'm you're my name. No, no, no. Just, my name's Sean. That's Sean? all. That's, oh. that's all. That's all, you're that's all I want. That's all I feel comfortable giving you. Is that with a W or a U? S-E. S-E-A-N. Oh, okay. S-E-A-N. S-E-A-N. There was a third way. Got it. There was a third way. So just Sean. You know? Yeah, just Sean. No last name. And what did you say you worked for again? Oh, no. I just work for myself. I'm independent. I'm an independent journalist. Okay. Didn't you say there was a something you worked like a name of your blog or? No, no, no. No, I'm just independent. I work on freelance stories. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do you live in the area? Um, no, I don't live in the area. Okay. All right, Sean. Well, here's the deal, okay? This is a public building. You're able to be here, okay? I think it's, I hear here's the deal, and I don't, I don't want to hear anything that comes after it, but I'm going to let you go ahead. I, I don't want you to tell me what to do. <laughs> just diffuse the situation. I know. I mean, get out of here. Okay, I, I hope so. Here. You obviously want to be here. I don't want to be here, okay? Yeah. I'm not... You're you not detained. You're not detained. I promise. You can't detain me right now. <laughs> it's, so, a, it's a joke. Okay. So here's the deal. Yeah. You're able to be here as long as it's not through a door like that that says you can't go through it. Do you understand? All right. I'm done with this conversation now. Thank you. Have a great day, sir. Okay. I'm not gonna sit here and uh, or stand here and listen to him cops playing to me. On where and where I cannot go. I hate it when they do that. He was doing so good, too. There was no need for any of that. You can't see these red signs right here where it says stop, restricted area only, personnel only. You can't go in there. And then he waits for me to answer, like, no, 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 no. Not gonna happen. I try and be respectful and I try and, you know. Not escalate the situation, but I'm not going to be talked to like I'm some child by public servants who work for me, who are supposed to uphold my rights. You want to explain? Here's the deal to to the other public servants who called you over the camera of mass destruction. Go right ahead. Go explain that to them. Don't explain it to me. Don't want to hear it. Security guard is just telling everybody there's a man in their video recording you. Just so you know. <laughs> Does he tell them that there's cameras recording them every time they come in here? Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So we're gonna hang out for a few more minutes and then we're gonna be getting out of here. Our point was proven. <laughs> I support your freedom of speech right to say that. <laughs> Look. Just like you, trying to escalate a situation. Trying to tell people that I'm the bad guy with the camera. You don't tell people about the cameras that are already here. What'd you say? I can't hear you. I didn't start a matter of school clearing. No, I can't. I can't. You're, can I you're, talking real, you're talking real low. You're talking alive. You're talking low. I'm, I can't hear you, sir. I couldn't hear you, sir. Can, can you see? I don't want you to say things behind my back. I said it clearly before you turned it back. That's on you. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah, sure. I would say it to your face. That's just me, though. I said it to your face. You said turn and walk away. Uh, you waited till I was over there to say it. That's what you did. Did you get educated here today, sir? Did you learn something? Because if you learned something, I'm happy. I'm content. Think, think you learned something today. Hope everybody here learned something. Love free education. You have a great day, okay? You have the day you deserve. Yep. All right, guys, so we're just getting out of the government center here in Prince William County, Virginia. Wow, so that escalated quickly. Started off with Linda, who started saying the same things I usually hear from ignorant public servants, which is 
It's against their policy to exercise my rights peacefully. It's against the law, apparently. Violates other people's privacy, etc. You guys know the drill by now. Just plain old ignorance. And then the other female who wanted to unidentified female who didn't want to identify herself at least linda identified herself you know pro tip you don't want to be part of the story don't act entitled and start telling me what to do and you know yelling at me and getting an attitude and saying you're gonna call the police and say that all in front of the camera if you don't want to be part of the story maybe just avoid the camera pro tip security he started off you know didn't escalate too much when he started off but you know he always wanted to call the police, to have me removed, that was his goal. He wanted the police to violently remove me from the building because I was making people uncomfortable. I didn't have a right to record. It was I was breaking the policy. So when law enforcement showed up, you know, they all identified themselves in the end. No one tried to violate my rights. They did spend a long time there trying to, you know, not enforce the law, but soothe the other public servants egos by you know explaining to them that it is my right you know there's nothing that they can do because those public servants on the inside they wanted me removed from the building completely like they said i was violating their policy i was violating people's privacy and breaking the law luckily the law enforcement officers did know the law they did a pretty good job i'm going to be requesting the body camera footage so if you saw that in this video i got it quickly if you didn't see it, I'll be putting another video with the body camera footage. But, you know, guys, this is how it usually goes. But thankfully, law enforcement was educated on our rights. They did not remove me from the building. They did not violate my rights in any way. The one thing I will say that really, and I didn't want to record it because I know, I know all of you out there, my fellow patriots, we the people, you didn't want to hear that cop cop-splaining. You did not want to hear that officer cop-splaining. Here's the deal. Everything you say after here's the deal is null and void in my book. Doesn't matter what you said after, after here's the deal. And then you're waiting for me to answer like I'm some child. No, I know my rights. I know the law. Explain it to the people who called you. Don't want to hear it. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this one in the comment section below. As always, stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island Audit. Peace.